Okay guys, hi there. Uh, Sarah Kaufman and Stephanie McCurdy here at the emergency vet with these little babies. Um, if you're trying to catch up with our Facebook page and see what the heck is going on, um, we were alerted by a foster that um, a friend of hers who works at an apartment complex um, gained, uh, had a, a pipe burst that was pouring into an apartment. So they were going from apartment to apartment to try to figure out where the pipe burst and um, how they were going to fix it. And when they got into one of the apartments, um, the smell basically overwhelmed him, alerting him that there were animals there. Hey, 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 it's okay. Um, and, and this particular apartment, puppies, um, ant pits, puppies and dogs over 35 pounds were not allowed. Um, so he investigated further, found two little pit puppies in a kennel that was overflowing with feces and urine, um, and noticed that their muzzles appeared tied shut with what looked like to be wire. Hi, honey. Oh, thank you. You gonna hold my hand? And um, he contacted a foster of ours, unsure of what to do. She told him to call authorities and then she called us. And then we showed up, uh, called animal control, and then we showed up, um, rescued these two guys from their terrible, terrible poop and pee filled kennel rushed them here to Vesh, and um, the good doctors and staff here were able to cut off uh, the items that were wrapped around their muzzles, and it turned out not to be wire, it was actually rubber bands. Both of them had tiny little rubber bands that were like maybe as large around as my thumb wrapped around their muzzles, and you can see here, we've still got an indentation. His is way worse because his muzzle is a lot bigger but their muscles are very painful still. If you touch them, they cry. Um, but the doctor thinks that it has been soon enough since the rubber bands were put on that they're gonna be okay. And they're already pretty alert and active and wanna know what's going on and they ate a bowl of food and they're feeling good, aren't ya? So um, we're working closely with animal control regarding the investigation. I can assure you this is something that Wall is going to be pressing extremely hard on to push for a felony animal cruelty charge. Uh, so stay tuned for details on that. Authorities are investigating. The owner is known. So it's not going to be hard to figure out who exactly is responsible for this. So hi there. <laughs> I um, want to give a special thanks to several people. First of all, thank you to Wes for seeing something and choosing to bring it to someone's attention. Thank you for not just walking by and deciding that it wasn't your problem and it wasn't your issue to solve. Thank you for taking it further. So thank you to Wes. Thank you to Sam for reaching out to us. Thank you to Lieutenant at Animal Control for getting such a quick response. Thank you to the two officers who showed up and to all of the staff here at VESH who have helped us in these cute little faces so quickly and so well. These guys are going to be available for adoption. If you can send good thoughts their way. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, send good thoughts their way. <laughs> this little girl is just so precious. Aren't you? Aren't you? And here's her big brother. And you can see here, I like. I wish you guys could smell these puppies. We've been gagging. And I wish I had like some Vicks Vapor Rub to put in my nose or something because I just cannot describe the smell. But thank you to everyone who played a part in this. There must be a cookie under there. <laughs> I know. So we'll keep you updated on these guys' progress, let you know how they're doing, let you know when they're ready for adoption. So we can see here his poor little nose. And their noses are hard and swollen and uh, a little cold to the touch, but Dr. Lofgreen here thinks that they're gonna make a full recovery and that we found them just in the nick of time. So thank you guys for everything that you've done for us. Thank you for your continued support. If you can foster, if you're interested in adopting, reach out to us and we can help you Help us 
help animals. Thank you everyone for your small portion in this. Hey, can you say bye? Say bye bye.